Hi there, Melissa of Earthly Delights here, heading downstairs in the morning. Oh, there's Charlie. Say hi, Charlie. Heading out to do this morning's pack and ship. And I'm gonna turn it around. Gotta get Rose in. Rose, say hi to the camera. Say hi, everybody out there in YouTube land. Say good morning, Tripper. Oh, Tripper's absconded. There goes Charlie. There goes Rose. It's pandemonium. Hi everyone, this is Melissa from Earthly Delights coming at you with a what sold over the weekend video. Kelly has other obligations today, so I'm on my own. Um, and gonna go over what we sold. We sold, let's see, 11 items over the weekend since Saturday. Usually I have what sold on Friday included in a what sold over the weekend video, but I actually did do a shipment on Saturday. I don't, I don't usually do it, but um, we had quite a few that, that things that sold on Friday and early Saturday, so I was available too and just thought it'd be nice to get everything out so that the buyers would get the things that they ordered that much sooner. Um, so let's see, I'm gonna go through what sold. Uh, the first thing, actually this just sold this morning, um, is an apron, a vintage apron that we had gotten a little while back at an estate sale for like a dollar or two. It's a cross stitch, it has these little dancers on it, and that sold for $14. Next up is something that has been sitting in our store for a good long while. I think that we actually got it right before Christmas of 2021. It's this um, snowman blanket. It's been in the store for over a year. Just gonna give you a little look. Super cute. We got it at Savers. I don't remember what we spent on it. Not too much, but probably wouldn't have gotten it again. It just sold for 19 and it's been sitting for a good long time. I think I even had that promoted, um, which I don't really do a lot of promoted listings. Um, so we're going to make a little less on it, but it's moving on and it's going somewhere to hopefully to a family or someone who's going to love it and get all snuggly this winter, which is one of my favorite things to do. The next thing I've got is, um, a piece that we bought at an online art auction. Um, I don't remember what we spent on it. Not much. Um, I'm not really sure what that means. Sorry, I can't be more specific, but um, I, we sold this piece for $39. Let's see, are we, are we focused? It's really cute. It's. Um, Three little birds sitting on a branch and it says, bitch, bitch, bitch. That went for 38. Oh, now we're going to get into some, um, some of the cassette tapes from that giant cassette lot. We've got, let's see, one, two, three, four, four, um, lots of, well, four cassettes. Um, one of them is uh, a set of two. But we've got four cassettes that sold over the weekend, and I think one or two might have gone out last week. Um, first up is this lot of two hip-hop cassettes, um, Underground Airplay, Volumes 3 and 4. A little bit of a glare, but these guys sold for $55. Um, hip-hop tapes, especially if you can find rare stuff, sells. Um, I'm going to get out of order and just go through all the tapes right now. Um, by the way, those were sealed. Those were sealed. This is also another sealed one. King Crimson, red. Oh gosh, we are not auto-focusing today. Let's see. Hold on a sec. Uh, I don't know. I'm not going to press anything. Kelly showed me a button and I said, yeah, 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 I got it. Now I'm here and I don't remember what it was, but here we go. Let's see. I'll just go like that. This is King Crimson Red, uh, prog rock band, progressive rock. Um, 
really great, great stuff. I just started listening to them recently, and I, th I thought of them as like 70s, but the album we listened to yesterday was from 1969. I couldn't believe it. It's amazing. Check it out. We also sold Chardet. This is a new sealed cassette, um, Love Deluxe, and it went for 10. It We accepted a best offer. We had it listed for 20, which was a bit high. Um, we took a second look and decided to let it go for 10. It's on its way to New York City. Um, someone, the person who bought it sent in a bunch of offers for several different cassettes, and they were some good good brand new sealed cassettes and the offers were a little bit low so we countered on a bunch of them and um, he just went ahead and bought Chardet so happy that he paid right away and we'll see what happens maybe he's thinking about it or she um, let's see Chardet next up we got yeah and I think the last thing that sold Okay, wait, we did that, we did that. Yep, the last tape to sell was um, Guided by Voices. Oops, Guided by Voices. So Guided by, by Voices cassettes sell. They are definitely a bolo item. Um, this is Mag Earwig, and um, it is not brand new. It's a used cassette. It's in very good condition. Um, we tested it, we listened, the sound quality is good. The cassette... Um, there is very little wear on the case, and the inlay is in great condition. Um, this sold for, what itself for 45? No, yes, 45. I think we had it listed at 55, and we accepted a best offer. We were happy with that at approximately 30 cents per cassette. That is definitely a good profit. Um, you know, a lot of what we're selling is uh, tapes in lots so um, pricing wise depending on if they are sealed or used and what it is it could be you know it could be like two dollars a cassette anywhere from like two to five or more depending on on the lot so you have to factor it all in that um, really good sales are there to counteract um, cassettes that don't work there were a couple in there um, things that are you know, oftentimes older cassettes can get really warped, they can get fuzzy, um, they can be damaged just by the elements. We're not going to sell it if it sounds bad. Um, so yeah, those are the cassette tapes that sold over the weekend. We also sold um, a t-shirt that we had gotten um, in a large lot over the summer of t-shirts from the people we bought sea glass from and other items. Um, we paid about a dollar so per t-shirt. This was a great find. It's a double-sided Popeye. Um, Popeye's on the front throwing a punch and it says pow. And on the back, Bluto has been knocked out. This is from um, King Features Syndicate. 1993. Um, they did most, if not, sorry, they did most, if not all, of the Popeye t-shirts. Popeye is, is kind of a funny thing. I feel like Popeye was really popular. Um, you know, I mean, it's a, an older cartoon, probably from the 50s or so. Um, and Popeye, or maybe even earlier, I'm not sure. Um, Popeye had a resurgence in popularity in like the 80s and 90s. I don't feel like Popeye is particularly popular right now, but there's always some diehards um, who are out there looking. Um, and it's, regardless, it's just a really cool double-sided shirt. So um, let me see, what else have we here? We also sold this hardcover book, Earth Unaware, by Scott Orson Card and Aaron Johnston. Um, it's, as I mentioned, hardcover with the dust jacket. It is brand new, never read. Um, that sold for $12.95 um, plus shipping. And please note, I'm, Cal, I'm not sure if I did this one already, so I'm just going to do it again. Just leaving that up to you. We also sold this adorable 
reindeer, ceramic reindeer planter. It's like a little Christmas decor. We've had it in our store for quite a while and I'm glad that it's finally going to a home. Very cute. You could keep put like a succulent in it. Maybe use it as a mug. No, that would be weird. You could poke your eye. Um, yep. So let's see. I think that's it for... Oh, no, 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 no. We sold two pairs of our little United Airline... Hold on a minute. United Airline Tiki God, Tiki God charms, um, keychain charms. We sold two lots of them for 30 each. So $60 on four Tiki Gods. So that was another great sale. Um, I think we only have a couple more left to go because they are like extremely rare. Like in addition to the people who have bought these from us, we might be the only people on the planet that have them. Um, I'm not really sure about that. It's quite a quite a statement to claim, but um, they're really rare. So we're going to hold on to a few for our personal collection. And one more sale. Let me just go and grab it. We love the Choose Your Own Adventure books, especially the OG ones. Last week, or was it over the weekend? No, I think it was last week Kelly spotted on Marketplace somebody um, giving away uh, a big box of books. And we spotted th this next item and some other goodies in there. Um, Kelly reached out to the person she said, Oh, it, it just went, it just sold, it's pending pickup, um, but I'll let you know if it falls through. Well, it stayed pending for like a day or two, and then Kelly got a message that it fell through with the other person, so we rushed right over and picked up the lot. Really happy with it, really glad that we did, um, because we got this lot of Choose Your Own Adventure books. It's um, a set, numbers one through six. Amazing from like 1979 and they've been selling pretty consistently for 75 um there's no other sets out there right now and um so we listed it for 75 got an offer of 55 this morning i counted at 65 and um they went for it so hopefully they'll pay soon and i will ship it right out to them um really great, great, uh, great box of books. We had a bunch of Black Stallion paper book, uh, paperback books. Um, another, actually a duplicate of one of these books, the, the Mystery at Chimney Rock, which sells for like $12. And, um, yeah, always on, always keep an eye out for free things or low price things, just things that people list on Marketplace that we can just pop over and, and, um, and take off someone's hands. If you enjoyed this content, please hit that like button and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of our future videos. Um, thanks for watching.